Hi everyone, and welcome to this Pick a Card reading. So, today's reading is going to be about does this person you're asking about deserve a second chance? Should you give them a second chance? And basically, what we're going to be looking at with this reading is basically if the person you're asking about is going to change. You know, if you give them a second chance, are things going to be better? Are they going to change? Are things going to be different? That's what we're going to be looking at, looking at today. So, you know, a lot of people believe that you know, everybody deserves a second chance, and if you believe that and you're, you know you're not going to change your mind about that, then, you know, you could watch this reading just for maybe some helpful information, or you don't have to watch this reading at all if you believe that everybody deserves a second chance, and as always, you have free will to do whatever you like with your life, and so, you know, if I read the cards and I see that, you know, the person you're asking about isn't going to change and, you know, you shouldn't give them a second chance, you don't have to not give them a second chance if you don't want to. So go by what you want to do here. You know, you can do whatever you like. And so this is only some general advice from, you know, a pick a card reading. So you don't have to take the advice. You don't have to listen to it if you don't want to. And of course, it is always general. It's a general prediction and the future can always change as well. And so You know, it could say that for right now this person won't change, but they could end up changing, you know, down the line. And, you know, that'll change the future. But, yeah, so that's what I have to say for that, just starting with this reading. I've got four different piles here. here, Sorry. Pile number one is Rose Quartz. Pile number two is Carnelian. Pile number three is clear quartz, and pile number four is yellow adventuring. So yeah, those are the four different piles. Think about the person you're asking about here and choose one pile. You can choose multiple piles if you'd like. This is going to be kind of like a yes or no sort of thing, like, you know, do they deserve a second chance or not? And so maybe if you pick like, um, like just an even number of piles, like maybe you pick two, and one is yes, you should give them a chance, and one is no, you shouldn't, that I would kind of say that's like a maybe, you know, like maybe they'll change, maybe they won't, it's kind of uncertain at the moment, and then, that, you know, in that case, I would maybe recommend coming back to this reading later on, but yeah, I would recommend picking an odd number of piles if you're drawn to more than one, if you want to pick all of them, you can, just kind of go with the majority and if there is no majority like yes or no then maybe that's a maybe so you could say you could say that's a maybe and that maybe they'll change maybe they deserve a second chance maybe they don't but yeah that's what we're going to look at here i'm going to go ahead and get started with pile number one the timestamps will be in the description box so yeah i'm going to get started everyone who chose pile number one the rose quartz you can kind of barely tell us rose quartz but it's a very light pink rose quartz so yeah today we're going to be looking at does this person deserve a second chance kind of mentioned a lot of the details in the beginning but this is a general reading as always so do only take what resonates leave what doesn't as always with the future of the prediction the future can change and so Yeah, the outcome of this, you know, whether or not this person will change or not, whether or not, you know, there would be a good outcome if you gave this person a second chance will change. And of course, it's just general, like I said, so it may resonate for some of you, it may not resonate for all of you, though. So yeah, let's go ahead and begin with the cards and take a look. So we have first card, heart chakra. Then we have... The Seven of Clubs, the Four of Diamonds, and the Jack of Spades. Then we have Chop Wood, Clouds, Shape Shifting, Soulmate, Ask for What You Want, and King of Swords Reversed. Okay, so... Does this person deserve a second chance? All right. With these cards, 
I'm going to start with, with King of Swords reversed here. Along with chop wood above it here. For some of you, an issue that may be in this connection that maybe this person possibly could have is an over-focus on work and maybe over-focus on the self just in general here with King of Swords reversed and chop wood. But chop wood, I usually read this card as a card of just focusing on more practical matters like work or career or school, even like chores, day-to-day -day things with this card. And we also have the Seven of Clubs along with the Four of Diamonds here. And so Seven of Clubs talks about very good luck when it comes to money and career, you know, prosperity, but bad luck when it comes to love and relationships. And so I feel for a lot of you here, this person you're asking about has been the one who's not have who hasn't been as focused on love and relationship and relationships and has been more focused on other parts of their life specifically here kind of coming up as career prosperity money finances that sort of thing and so with that here this person for some of you may have also like something that's happened here could have been possibly some maybe immaturity from this person possibly this person could have said some maybe even mean things here but I'm definitely seeing that this energy with this card I feel like this person and this energies that they've had whatever you know the issues were in the past whatever problems were here with the sign of clubs I feel like this person you're asking about will change this person will kind of shape shift out of their old energy of maybe being just very self-focused or maybe possibly being even a bit rude for some of you this person may have seen that you were kind of holding them back even with the jack of spades here from having success with their money their career those sort of things with these cards coming up but yeah i feel like with the ask for what you want car i do believe that like i said this person will change and something that you can do to kind of help this along is to you know ask for this ask for this person to change for this person to improve themselves and to kind of shapeshift them, themselves in a way out of this whatever old energy there was here whatever you know problems they might have you know been dealing with you both might have been dealing with here in this connection maybe this person was dealing with you know personal problems or just anything they had their focus on other than love and relationships for a lot of you here but yeah just ask for that ask for what you want here ask for you know this person to improve themselves and to change themselves out of you know things that are just you know I guess bad habits to have like maybe being rude here with the king of swords reverse you know maybe saying mean things to you or to other people I don't necessarily see that you know with this chop wood card coming up as kind of like a future prediction i don't necessarily see this person completely stopping their focus on you know their day-to-day -day things like maybe work or career they're still going to have a focus on that but i do see you know a soulmate and heart chakra a shift kind of more into you know seeing the benefits of love and relationships i do feel like you two do have a very strong connection here even a soulmate connection you know, this is general, you'll know for you, you know, what kind of connection you have with this person, but, you know, no matter soulmate or not, this is still a strong connection, and you still have strong feelings towards each, towards each other here with the heart chakra coming up here as well. I do definitely see that, yeah, with those feelings here I, that you have for them and I feel that they have for you, I think that this person, you know, would deserve a second chance, a chance to kind of take their focus off of other parts of their life maybe a little bit like I said I don't think they will completely but maybe a little bit or maybe give them a chance to be nicer to you know treat you better whatever the issues were in the past you know give them a chance to correct them I think that this person does deserve a chance and I do think they will change you know for some people that you're asking about they may take a longer time to change than others but I do see it happening eventually here and so yeah like I mentioned at the beginning you do have the free will to do whatever you like and so if you 
you know, don't want to give this person a second chance, you don't have to. But with these cards, I'm seeing that it would be worth it. I feel like this is a strong connection. I feel like you both have mutual feelings towards each other here. You both have love for each other here with the heart chakra. And so I do think it would be worth it to give this person a second chance and, you know, to kind of maybe help this person along when it comes to healing themselves by asking the universe, but also when it comes to this person, you know, tell this person what you want. Tell this person how you want things to be and, you know, if they are willing to do that, then they are. If they're not, they're not. But it's worth a chance, you know, here. It's worth a try to tell this person what you want here in this connection and see if they're willing to do it or not, you know, if they're willing to give you what you want like this card says, let the universe and other people know what you need. That's important here, I feel, to properly communicate to this person, you know, what you want from this connection, how you want things to be, so they know and so they can either give you what you want or so that, so they can tell you that they can't give you what you want here. You know, this is general, so I can't really say for all of you what the person you're asking about will want to do here. But, yeah, other than letting them know, also let the universe know that you, you know, if you do have these strong feelings towards this person, like I feel you do, that you, you know, want this person to maybe be in a relationship with you, or you want this person to improve the connection with you in some way, or ask for what you want from the universe, ask, you know, for this, for the universe to help this person along in changing, you know, becoming different and becoming a better person, you know, for, for them to, you know, just improve themselves and to work on themselves, so... Yeah, I think that's all I have to say with this pile. Thank you so much for watching this reading. If you did enjoy it, please do like, comment, and subscribe. That's all I have for you today. Bye! Hello everyone who chose pile two. This is the carnelian. So we're going to go ahead and take a look here at does this person you're asking about deserve a second chance? You know, should you give them a second chance or not? You know, are they going to change? We're going to take a look here with these cards. And so as always, this is general. So take what resonates, leave what does not. As well as, you know, you have free will here. So if you, you know, get an answer to not give them a second chance and you want to, you don't have to not give them one just because I do say that. And, you know, vice versa here. So do what you would like here. This is just some advice, just some kind of insight, kind of future prediction in a general reading. And as always, the future can, of course, change here as well. But let's go ahead and get started. So we have Divine Consciousness. We have the Seven of Hearts. Jack of Diamonds and the Three of Diamonds. To the Sea Reversed. River Movement. Childhood Innocence. Free Yourself. Holiday. And Nine of Cups. So does this person you're, well, will this person you're asking about change? You know, do they deserve a second chance? We're gonna take a look now. With these cards so with these cards here we have the seven of hearts and so for some of you here maybe the issue that you have had with this person in the past because i do feel first off with childhood innocence here i feel you have a past for this person for a lot of you you do have a past maybe it goes all the way back to childhood maybe this is, is an ex like past love just someone you've known for quite a while i feel feel here so I do see with that, with the Seven of Cups, well, so not, sorry, not Seven of Cups, the Seven of Hearts here. Seven of Hearts talks about, you know, fickle affections. It talks about possibly here, you know, unfaithfulness here with the Seven of Hearts. But, you know, so when it comes to love and romance, you know, if this connection is related to love and romance, it doesn't have to be. So if it's not, you can ignore, the, ignore this. But, yeah, to someone who is maybe has been unfaithful, just maybe someone who has had just like fickle affections, they haven't, you know, maybe fully ever committed to you or something like that here, but 
yeah i'm seeing that as kind of like a past energy here jack of diamonds as well is kind of like a unreliable person someone who you can't really rely on someone you maybe can't even trust so for a lot of you here that's sort of the issues you've been you've dealt with with this person in the past here and so with these cards you know do i see this person changing unfortunately i'm gonna say no i feel like with these cards coming up here i'm seeing that this person does not deserve a second chance according to these to these cards and i feel that it would be best for you to you know not give this person a second chance and to kind of move on here with to the sea reversed i feel like with this card in reverse this person will take quite a long time to change with this card in reverse because already with this card upright you know this woman doesn't look like she's in a very fast moving boat here and then with it in reverse i feel it's kind of even moving slower that's kind of how i'm seeing it here kind of how i'm reading it also with you know the river movement card i feel like it this is kind of saying it's best to move forward best to move on best to kind of free yourself from the situation and to you know enjoy your life have fun possibly go on a holiday maybe you know just do something that really makes you feel happy and fulfilled with three of diamonds here as well after kind of the seven of hearts and the jack of diamonds i unfortunately see kind of like a separation here so maybe like i said this is an ex who you separated with or maybe you're in separation with this person currently like you know a separation no communication those sort of things and yeah, that could be possible, but I feel that this also for kind of like advice here is saying it's best to separate yourself from this person, best to, I feel with this divine consciousness card, talks about interconnection, expansion, oneness, light. I feel like kind of expand yourself and expand your happiness, expand kind of the light in your life, you know, do things that make you happy and kind of free yourself from this situation with this person and kind of move on I feel is kind of the message I'm getting here because I don't see this person necessarily changing and being you know the best person for you here anytime soon as I mentioned this is a future prediction and so it can change you know this person could end up changing a lot but as of right now I'm not seeing that they will and I'm seeing that yeah with to the sea reverse it will take a long time and I feel it's probably best for you to go in a different direction once again with this car you know upright she's going to the right and reverse she's going to the left she's going a different direction and so I do see that that is what I'm getting with these cards to go in a different direction than this person to not give them a second chance as always you have the free will to do whatever you like and so if you still would like to give this person a second chance then you can you don't have to just do what I tell you here with these cards but that is honestly what I'm seeing here the best option for you here would be to for yourself, move on, get out of the situation with this person if you're still in it, or just kind of move away from this person in the past of this person, you know, you know, especially if you're in separation, no communication, I still feel like it's best to move on here and to just enjoy your life by yourself and maybe, you know, sometime in the distant future this person may change, but as of right now, I don't see that this person will kind of change from their kind of unreliable ways here. So, yeah, I think that's what I'm seeing for this pile. Thank you so much for watching this reading. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye! <laughs> Hello to everyone who chose pile 3, the clear quartz. So we're going to go ahead and take a look with this reading. Does this person you're asking about deserve a second chance? You know, will they change? You know, should you give them a second chance or not? We're going to take a look. As always, this is general. So do only take the messages that resonate with you and just kind of leave the ones that resonate in this reading. Don't take them with you when you leave this reading. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and take a look. As always, do remember you have free will to do whatever you like here and you don't have to do what I kind of tell you to do with these cards, what I'm seeing with these cards. So we have first card, self-esteem. Then we have king of hearts, queen of diamonds, ten of spades. Then we have blessed, 
fog, veiled, forgiving and learning, affirmations, and three of cups reversed. Okay, so does this person deserve a second chance here? So firstly, with these cards, for some of you here, with the King of Hearts and the Queen of Diamonds, there could be possibly multiple people involved here or multiple people were involved here with the Three of Cups reversed. Could have been some sort of third party situation or cheating, unfortunately, here in the past. Also with Fog Veiled here, it talks about kind of lying, deception, things not being clear in this connection. And so definitely as it like what has maybe happened in the past here, I'm definitely seeing those sort of themes here with these cards and it's definitely something that was not positive for you here with the ten of spades ten of spades is unfortunately a very negative card that talks about worry and it talks about just feeling very defeated you know there could have been some bad news that maybe this person did cheat on you something like that here with the ten of spades and if so i'm really sorry but that is overall to know spades is a pretty negative card and so i feel also with forgiving and learning here a lot of you have gone through a lot with this person gone through a lot of kind of negative feelings in regards to this person this connection and so with forgiving and learning here as well as affirmations i feel that it's definitely important to try and be as positive as you can about the future here and to affirm that, you know, you will be able to release the past of this person, maybe forgive, kind of move on. I do see with these cards, you know, for does this person deserve a second chance? I'm going to have to say no here, honestly. With the fog card kind of coming up as a bit of a future prediction here, if this person was dishonest in the past, you know, lying, keeping secrets, I unfortunately don't see that they'll change in the future. I see they'll continue to be dishonest there could possibly be more, um, like, I don't know the word, disloyalty, like, I can't think of the word, but there could possibly be, yeah, like, more cheating, unfortunately, in the future here, more kind of maybe issues with a third party sort of thing here, and so, yeah, with Ten of Spades kind of being the last card here, there definitely could be more that could cause you a lot of fears and worries here and just cause you a lot of, you know, like some kind of bad news you could possibly experience in the future if you do give this person a chance. I, like I said, I unfortunately don't see this person changing. I don't see this person, you know, being different. Maybe if it wasn't cheating or lying or a third party situation, whatever it was, I still see this person not, you know, becoming a different person, not kind of clearing away whatever ha happened in the past and still doing the same things that they did in the past here and possibly even you know if they didn't lie in the past there could be lying in the future unfortunately here sorry to give that prediction i do see that here with self-esteem and blessed the cards are saying it's best for you to focus on yourself here focus on improving your self-esteem after this situation loving yourself being confident despite whatever has happened here despite whatever you know may happen here in the future you know, whatever has happened, whatever will happen, affirm that you will be all right, affirm that you are loved and that, you know, you are confident and that you are blessed, you know, no matter what has happened here with this person or no matter what will, will happen, that, you know, you're, there are things to be happy about in your life, even if this connection is not, has not been or will not be the best here. And so, yeah, I'm definitely seeing that you know, does this, does this person deserve a second chance with these cards? I'm going to say no. I don't see that they deserve it. I don't see that you should give them a second chance here. But as always, like I said, you have the free will to do what you would like. And so if you want to give them a second chance, you don't have to not do it just because I said here, you know, this is a general reading. Do what you would like with your life. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Okay, so pile four. Should you give this person you're inquiring about 
a second chance? Do they deserve it? You know, will they change? We're going to take a look with these cards. This is general, so do only take the messages that resonate and the messages that don't resonate. Just leave them with this reading here. Take the messages that do resonate, though. And so, yeah, we're going to take a look here. Also, please do remember you have free will to do whatever you would like with your life. You don't have to do what I'm seeing you should do with these cards if you don't want to. So we have the pleasure card. Then we have two of diamonds, seven of diamonds, and two of hearts. We have here and now, fairies, earth magic, you deserve love, everything's okay, and nine of pinnacles reversed. All right, so with these cards here, so for what may have happened in the past to this person with two of diamonds coming up here, two of diamonds can talk, talk about, it talks about either a love affair that kind of gains disapproval or a love affair that turns into a marriage. And so it could be for some of you here that there was some disapproval maybe from people around you when it came to this connection or there was maybe you were married maybe you know with the seven of diamonds here as well maybe there were some arguments some issues here but with the seven of diamonds it does talk about arguments being resolved it does talk about a resolution here working things out when it comes to, you know, situations with other people, and yeah, with two of diamonds as well, and the two of cups, two of hearts here, sorry, two of hearts here, I do think there will be, you know, if it was the situation of, like, disapproval or people not, like, liking this um, connection, relationship, or maybe it was just marriage here, maybe there could have been arguments, or there could have just been issues here, basically, with these cards. There's issues, this is general, I'm, I'm just saying kind of this more specifics that I'm getting from these two cards, but generally, yeah, there could have been issues. One of those other issues that could have possibly been here in the past was a kind of sense of, a strong sense of independence, either, well, I feel for most of you, probably this person you're asking about being very independent, being very focused on themselves and not so much focused on the connection with you here with this card. But I do see, with the two of hearts, as I, as I was trying to say, I do think there will be support here. I do think that there will be, you know, maybe forgiveness kind of understanding here with the two of hearts. Two of hearts even can talk about, you know, coming into a relationship. You know, just, you know, having a good connection with each other, I think, will, you know, happen here in the future. And so, yeah, with the here and now card... I do, well, yeah, firstly, I do think that, yeah, a good connection with each other will happen in the future. Two of hearts can be friendship, can be a relationship as well. But I do just think overall kind of having a good connection, a positive connection, resolving any issues from the past. And so I do think that, you know, this person will change. I do think that, you know, this person does deserve a second chance. We do have you deserve love here. You are lovable. And so I think that, yeah, it does talk about deserving here. And so I do think this person is deserving of your love, is deserving of maybe your friendship or, you know, whatever here, this person is deserving of it. And you are as well. I feel like with the you deserve love card here as well as with the pleasure card, I think that you should, you know, enjoy yourself when it comes to this connection. Enjoy yourself just overall in general and do know that you deserve to you know, indulge and, and deserve to, you know, have a good time, you know, deserve to just enjoy your life basically here. And I think that this person, you know, this connection could be definitely something that you kind of can indulge yourself in and enjoy with everything's okay here as well. This card says, don't worry, it's all working out in a beautiful way. And so, yeah, I think that's a good message here that everything's okay. I think that this person, you know, will change. I think that you, they do deserve a second chance. I think that, you know, in the time being with the here and now card, I do think most of all you should focus on the present. You know, whatever's happening with this connection in the present moment, focusing on that, focusing on maybe your present life and kind of yourself here. But I do think there will definitely be positivity coming into this connection. 
at some point in the future here and that yeah you know like this card says everything's okay and you don't have to worry because it's gonna be it's gonna work out it's gonna work out i feel like things are gonna be resolved there's gonna be a good kind of connection between you two here with the two of hearts coming up and yeah with the nine of pentacles here in reverse it could definitely be for some of you if you're asking about something romantic that you kind of if you're single now that you'll get into a relationship with this person in the future and you know maybe you're just lonely feeling alone and you'll feel less alone with this person and so yeah i think this person deserves a second chance i think there will be change here on this person's part i think yeah they they deserve it here i feel like this is a connection that you can both really enjoy and it's definitely worth it to enjoy it it could be a lot of light and positivity that comes to you through this connection so yeah i think just overall definitely Focus on the present, whatever's happening with this connection at the moment, focus on that and just be hopeful for the future and, you know, affirm to yourself that everything's okay and that everything's working out as it should and it will work out in a beautiful way, in a beautiful way like this card says. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say with these cards. Thank you so much for watching this reading. Please like, comment, and subscribe. That's all I have for you today. Bye.